Yeah, so glad that we had such a beautiful day for everyone today. Blue skies and we're ready to start the waterfowl parade. In its 37th year, As we get to them, we, I will announce, because one takes a lot longer than the other, we do have kind of two Grand Marshals this year. We have a Grand Marshal, and we also have a Grand Marshal family. And I'm going to go ahead and, and read the Grand Marshal family, because it's so long that uh, by the time they go by, I don't think that you would uh, hear all of that. Today, they're honoring the guest is Vera Sickles. Uh, and Vera has been a lifelong resident of Linesville area and has been involved in many organizations here locally. She is a lifelong member of the First Baptist Church of Linesville, has been a member of the Eastern Stars, Watson Run Women's Club, and many more groups. This past May, Vera celebrated her 97th birthday, and we hope to celebrate many, many more. Vera married Ray Sickles on January 31st, 1941, so in addition to honoring Vera, we would like to honor Ray as well as this marks 20 years since his passing on August 4th, 1998. In 1937, Ray was selected for the second class of the Ross Leffler School of Conservation near Brockway. By 1939, Ray had been assigned by the Pennsylvania Game Commission as game protector at Pine Tuning Area, where he remained his entire career. Upon his arrival to the Pine Tuning Area, Ray visualized the concept of a controlled hunting area. He then received permission from the Game Commission to plan, develop, and manage what is now known as Pine Tuning Waterfowl Management Area. Ray was instrumental in establishing the Pine Tuning chapter of Ducks Unlimited, the Lionsville Waterfowl Expo, and the Sportsman's Youth Conservation School. Throughout his career, Ray received many awards for his conservation work, including the Nash Conservation Award, the first state chapter of Ducks Unlimited Award given by National Ducks Unlimited, and as an outstanding professional cons conservationist of the year given by Outdoor Writers of Pennsylvania. Ray was inducted into the Western Pennsylvania Hall of Fame for his success in waterfowl management. Ray retired from the Game Commission in 1979 after 43 years of service and had a, uh, a monument plaque dedicated to him located at the Game Commission office in Hartstown. Ray and Vera are the proud parents of six children, three boys and three girls. Their sons include Dick and his wife Judy, Bob and his wife Ganelle, and Mark with his wife Danielle. Their daughters include Nancy, which is going to be driving the car today, and her husband Ned, Linda and Lori with her husband Ed. Unfortunately, Linda passed away in 2010 from ovarian cancer, and Mark passed away in 2011 from leukemia. With six kids, that means Vera has a number of grandkids, great-grandkids, and great-great-grandkids. Riding with Vera today is her daughter Nancy Hamilton, her granddaughter Amy Dorvey, her great-grandchild Ashley Mihalik, and last but not least, her great-great-great-grandchild Macy Mihalik. This represents five generations of the Sickles family. So we're excited to have them represented today as our Grand Marshal family. That'll be coming up soon. All right, and so leading off the parade is our police chief, Rob Johnson, and right behind them will be the Legion Riders, And following them will be the VFW Auxiliary. The Linesville VFW Post uh, 7842 Auxiliary, just wanted to mention, is that they will be honoring and remembering the 398 veterans on December 15th by joining in the National Wreaths Across America Day, you've probably heard about, at the Linesville Cemetery. Please join us that day as our mission is to remember, honor, and teach what freedom is all about. So once again, we have Rob Johnson, our police chief, Entering the parade, followed by the Legion Riders and the VFW Auxiliary. Don't forget, Reese's Across America will be in December at the, out at the cemetery. Sponsored by the VFW. Thank you, Auxiliary. Thank you. And as we had said before, we have our Grand Marshal family, which is Vera and all the family, which I was able to read earlier. This is all the family, five generations of the Sickles family, instrumental, the, the uh, father of, of all of them, the uh, instrumental in everything that we have here around Pine Tuning Reservoir. So happy to have them as our Grand Marshal.
And right behind our Grand Marshal family is our Grand Marshal, which is Yogi and Jean Bear. Yogi and Jean have been married and have lived in Linesville for 58 years. Started Bears Corvettes in 1970 and has grown to 10 full-time employees. Bears ship around the world. The last 48 years, they have donated to a lot of local and county charities. Biggest is the Lakeland Valley Senior Center property and the Yola, uh, Yolanda Barco Pink Corvette uh, that you see here with us today. Stop in down at Bears today. They're cruising from 11 till 4. Son Brian took over the family business 10 years ago, and he's now the sole proprietor of that business. We have the waterfowl queens that were, that were uh, uh, last week. We're all named. We have the 2018 Miss Waterfowl is Abigail Frankie. The teen Miss is Berka Stahl. The junior Miss is Kendra Vivian. And the little Miss, Jovi Eaton. The tiny Miss is Arlene Kelly. All of our queens for the Waterfowl Queens this last week. Up next, it's easy to find the Conneaut Area Senior High School Marching Band. The band will be performing throughout the fall at numerous football games, band festivals, and local parades. The Cash Marching Band is comprised of approximately 60 members, 10 color guard, and 10 managers. This year's parade, uh, playing Road Trip, Hit the Road Jack, Heartbreak Hotel, Vehicle, Life is a Highway, and Easy on Down the Road. They're under the direction of Mr. Glenn Cameron. The assistant directors are Jason Gillette and Jake Wygant. Color guard instructors are Cheryl Cameron, Nicole Zazar, Zoller, and Ashley Wright. Please sit back and enjoy as the Connie Area Senior High School Band performs for us at this time. Let's have a nice round of applause for the Clayton Area Senior High School Marching Band. Under the direction of Mr. Glenn Cameron. One, two. They will also be performing later this evening at one of their band festivals. And of course, next Friday night is homecoming night at the Clayton Area Senior High School as they take on the General McLean.
Next up, we have the Coneyard Captains. This team is uh, Captain's Travels. It's a baseball eight and U team, eight and under. They re represent the Lionsville, Coneyard Lake, Jamestown, and Vernon, coached by Andy Grafton, Jen Klink, uh, and of course, Bill Good, who is also the president of Lionsville Little League. So these are the eight and under baseball team we have with us this, this afternoon, or this morning, rather. Future baseball players, you never know, guys. We've had two or three professional baseball players from the area, so never know. Good luck and thanks, congratulations to the coaches who give up so much of their time. We also have now Cub Scout Pack 210 from Conneadville. Pack 210 meets Tuesday nights in Conneadville at the Koinia Center. If you'd like to join, you can contact Cubmaster Stan Starcheski. Cub Scout Pack 210 from Conneadville. And right here you see some of the varsity uh, cash football players who came up with a big win over Hickory last night. They uh, lost to Oil City in the opening game and have won three straight since then. So congratulations to our football team. Doing a great job. They take on homecoming next Friday night. They take on General McLean Lancers in a big contest. Next up we have the Eagles trap team. The 2018 trap team coached by, by Bruce Lawson. They have 25 kids participating and they go out to the Sportsman's Club every Sunday and they're welcoming anybody new that wants to join their trap team. They've been in existence for three years now, representing cash. And as I said before, out at the Sportsman's Club, come on out on Sunday afternoon and join the club. We have the Linesville Pharmacy, one of our local Walgreen family uh, pharmacies that offer free care. They fill medication, packaging, free children's vitamins, and they also have a great selection of gifts, uh, giftware and decor, home medical equipment, and over-the-counter medications. Linesville Pharmacy is proud to be part of the Linesville community, and they're located right here behind the judge's stand here next to the post office, the Linesville Pharmacy. We have the spinets under the direction of B.J. Murray. This has been a twirling group that's been around for 50 years. B.J.'s had them, and all their equipment is donated and is uh, free for all the kids that are involved in that program. B.J. Murray and the Spinettes, I think they've been here every year of our 37 years as uh, Waterfowl Parade. And they've always have the Mustang, and they used to always have the little dog, but the little dog's not around anymore. Hey, in the back, got a new dog. All right. Enjoy the spinettes. We have the Crawford County Democratic Committee representing it here today. Don't forget about election coming up on November the 6th and vote for your choices. Running for office, Bob Casey for the U.S. Senate, Tom Wolf is running for governor, Ron DiDicola for Congress, and Sue Mulvey, the state senator. Don't forget, November 6th, the Democratic Party representatives. We have Junior Miss Cockerton with us today. The 2018 Junior Miss is Addison Miller representing Cockerton. So we're glad to have the Junior Miss Cockerton with us.
Addison Miller. We have the Miss National reigning Miss America team, 2018, who is Madison Kreider. And our next representative, Miss National reigning Miss America team, Madison Kreider. And now we have members of the Republican Committee. Representing from Michelle Brooks. Running, don't forget, November 6th, voting is your choice. Be sure and get out and vote. <laughs> and we have the official pace car, the 59th Annual Indianapolis 500 race. All right. And more representatives for the Republican Party. Wagner going and running for governor. Michelle Brooks running for the state senate. We have a float right behind the Republican Party. Uh, as the First Baptist Church welcomes everyone to come experience God's love in a practical way. They offer a variety of student ministries as well as learning and fellowshipping together. This is part of the Awana program which meets every Wednesday at the First Baptist Church of Lyonsville. And many members of that Awana team are on their float today. They are also the winners of the float competition is First Baptist Church of Lyonsville, the Awana program. And we have Robin Thomas with us today, leading Gypsy Fortune, Golden Moon Dust, and Jennifer Woodard is leading Gypsy Lake uh, Strike It Rich. These horses are all Gypsy Banners, so we're glad to have the horses with us today, as well as all the Awana kids from the Awana program every Wednesday night. So it's always open from 6.20 to 8 p.m. Kindergarten, pre-K through fourth grade. Uh, they want you to come and get your float. <laughs> and they are so happy that they're walking in front of the horses as we have the Gypsy Banners with us. Jennifer Woodard along with Robin Thomas. Beautiful horses, beautiful. We have Junior Miss Pima Tuning with us today, 2018 Little Miss Pima Tuning, uh, uh, Madalena uh, Doherty, all along with Mackenzie Doherty, both queens from Pima Tuning Valley. Little Miss and Junior Miss, 2018, from Pima Tuning. And we have Lillian Bates representing Signature Earthworks for all your dirt work and excavation needs. Dig with the best and bury the rest is also Thompson Gravel for all of your dirt needs. True Coots representing Forest View Restaurant. Meals and memories made here. Check Facebook for daily specials and also Pork Body Works for all your vehicle repairs. Oh, we're being overpowered by 1936 Ford Buffalo. It is owned by Charlie and Kathy Borisek of Lionsville. This was owned by Kathy's late grandfather, Bud Richmond of Dixonburg. This truck is one of the only two that still exists. Only nine were ever built. Originally owned by the city of Meadville, Dick Hose Company, number three, a 1936 Ford Buffalo. And we have Dick James up next in his Ford, which is a 1936 Club Gabriella. Dick has been in the parade many years. Dick, along with his wife, Linda, glad to have them in our parade. You'll see that car running around Linesville all summer long as he drives that thing on a daily basis. Followed up by the representative from Summit Township, their fire department uh, holds 1,200 gallons. Uh, their territory is mutual aid is Jamestown, Linesville, Andover, Cuyant Lake, and Cuyantville. All covered by the Summit Township Fire Department. Also our football games that I want to throw along. They've got some of their vehicles here with us today. 
Summit Township out of Harmonsburg. We have the Centerville Princess with us, Kinsler Sheckler, along with Little Miss Centerville, Kylie Shefstall, and Miss Centerville, Sydney Elder. All queens from Centerville with us this morning. Kinsley Sheckler, Kylie Shefstall, and Sydney Elder. All 2018 Centerville Princesses. We have also the Miss Reigning America Queens. Jordan Allen is Junior Miss Pennsylvania, Junior Teen. Zoe F uh, Filger, Miss Northern States Top Model. Uh, Emelina Woods and Miss Northern States Princess. Elena White, Junior Miss Pennsylvania Princess. All part of the Miss Reigning America Queens. And they've got the wave down pat. Good job, girls. Representing the Erie County Fair at Wattsburg, which is going on, or was going on last week, is Queen Ashley Kowser. Ashley is a senior at Fort LaBeouf High School and is in 4-H, cheerleading and track and field. She is the president of her 4-H club and proud 2018-19 uh, Erie County Fair Queen. Ashley Kowser. Representing Conneaut Lake Ambulance Service. They are serving the Conneaut Lake area for over 41 years. There again, you see them serving the Linesville area on many daily runs. Conneaut Lake Ambulance Service. Followed up by the Linesville Voluntary Fire Department that was started in the 1930s by the American Legion. At that time, the trucks were located in the borough building. In the 70s, it was decided by the fire department and the municipalities to build a new station. And in, it was in 1976. Current Chief Bill Mickle and Ron Harper is the president and department staying strong for the times. However, always looking for more uh, volunteer help. October 13th at the Presbyterian Church will be having a breakfast for a fundraiser and we'll have more to come back. All part of the Linesville Voluntary Fire Department. All the fire department keeping us safe, and we're so happy for the people volunteering their time to give up that to us. Don't forget now, there's all kinds of activities up at the Little League Field, over at the high school, down at Bears Corvettes, up at Nichols Barn, uh, all over and over at the high school. So enjoy your weekend here. It's a beautiful weekend to spend here at the Palmetting area, and we just love to invite you. Love to have you here in Lionsville. So until next year, have a great day, a great weekend, and glad to be with you. John Acklin signing off.